again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. What am I doing? I'm on week three of my vlog series. I'm very sorry for the super depressing video from the last one. I can't do anything because I'm a mom and I have too much laundry. Except that it's true. I did finish the laundry and my mom took my daughter so that I could record my audiobook for a few days. It was so successful. I took all day. Like, all day. I got up really early and I drove my daughter to my mom's house so that I could, like, really get a lot of work done, you know? Because she lives an hour away. So I got all the way there and my mom was rearranging and cleaning things because my grandma is going to live with my mom. I really like cleaning and rearranging. I may have jumped in a little slash got distracted slash helped my mom. She gave me like a really cool white vintage tablecloth that I'm kind of stoked about if I'm honest. How's it going daddy? By the time that I got home, it was already getting quite late. Not like late late, but late enough. I decided that I was going to just order pizza for supper. That was very easy and then I didn't have to worry about anything and I was just going to focus on recording the audio version for my book. I spent many, many years in bands and so I do know a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean the bare minimum of how to edit songs and audio and that kind of thing. Or at least I thought I did. As it turns out, music and audiobooks are completely different things. Different. Very, very, very different. After I realized that I really didn't know what I was doing, I started googling what I should do. YouTube told me that I needed to go record in my bathroom or closet. Looking back on that, I realized that was probably bad advice. I know from singing that when you sing in the bathroom, it's good acoustics because just like this room, it echoes, right? Ah, uh, echoes. Not when you're doing audio. An audiobook needs to be clear. The other thing that I realized that was super, super different was the way that you say the words. It's not like a performance when you're singing. Nobody can see you. No one's ever going to see you. So when you have to talk like this so that all of the words are properly enunciated and you hit every one of the T's and the B's and the D's in the correct place so that people understand what you are saying, it doesn't matter because you don't look strange. Long story short, I recorded the book in a closet which you may have seen on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can. I basically only post about my house and like kind of just like what I'm doing. <laughs> I used to talk about addiction on there all the time, but it really didn't grow. And I realized as I was doing it that I didn't want to talk about addiction all day, every day, all of the time because it's not my addiction. I'm not the one who had the problem. So why am I making my life all about this other person and their issue? It wasn't very healthy. I used to have a separate one that was like just for what I was doing where I would talk about like ministry stuff and blog things, but I couldn't keep up with two. So now I only have one and I post about things that I like on it because it's just me and his addiction is not me at all. There was no need for me to be talking about addiction on there 24 seven. And I figured at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I might be able to use it for like marketing, but really I just use it because I like it. And if somebody wants to follow me because they're interested in my story, then they're going to get a much better picture of who I am by following my actual real life. I like real people. I realized that my Instagram's a little like curated, you know? but that's just because everything in my house is the same color. I recorded all of the audio in the closet. I got up to chapter 17, I think, maybe even 19. I think it was 17. And I had tested listening to it as I started, but I didn't continue listening to it the entire time. Rookie mistake, I realize. I realize that now. So when I went and played them back, because I thought, oh, I got the right spot, I got the right setting, I got the right recording, everything is good, I realized that in the background, there was a noise on basically every single recording that went like this. 
I also realized that there was a lot of wet mouth noises, like nobody wants to listen to that. And on the letter P and the letter B, it was going So after quite a bit of like research, I figured out that you could really minimize the P and the B noises by turning the microphone ever so slightly off to the side and kind of speaking past it instead of into it. I found out that eating apples and excessive amounts of water helps to minimize the wet mouth noises. Did you know that a dry mouth is noisier than a wet mouth? It's true. So if you're thinking of recording your own audiobook, I highly suggest that you look up some voice acting things first, especially if you have a long time before you actually need to do this. And then of course, practicing things like opening your mouth and enunciating properly, because I realize that I don't always do that. I tend to mumble a little bit. You have to be very mindful of your P's and your B's and your S's because they whistle and pop. Don't forget to check your background noise. By day two, after I had recorded everything up to basically the book was almost done, I was having a breakdown like I was crying. I was having a breakdown. I actually had to call for help. I called a friend who's like a seasoned radio host and she helped me figure out that I had a lot actually going on that was causing interference from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth headphones to a Wi-Fi booster that was right beside the closet to having on a pop filter on the microphone and in front of it that was too much. I had to plug in my headphones to the actual microphone itself and then go through like corded headphones. There was a lot. I'm still not done, but hopefully it won't take me near as long now that that noise is gone. I also learned that my voice sounds better when I don't talk so aggressively. It's a little bit better than this. <sighs> if you don't know how to edit your audiobook, but you feel like you can write it, you can do that too. So you can record it all, you can set up the mic, you can do all of the things, and then when you're ready to have it edited, send it to somebody professional, like a sound engineer who actually knows what they're doing. They can help minimize the P's and the B's and the S's. As long as you put in the work beforehand, it will be really easy for them to clean up your audio and get rid of like background noise, all that stuff. They're gonna tweak your EQ thing. It's so different than than music it's just not it's not the same maybe it's the same if you're like educated in it but when you've just learned from like rap crews and your indie band I mean maybe not I may still end up hiring somebody to do that I'm not sure I'm gonna kind of see how it goes and I'm gonna piddle around with it and see if I can make it sound really good on my ear and then I will send it to somebody who has a more trained ear and we'll see what they say no, 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 no. and the other thing I would say about recording an audiobook is that there are specific settings that like say Audible wants you to record it at. So make sure that you go to their website and check that out before you start recording. So, and it's really easy. They give you all the directions, you know, go here, go here, go here. I'm recording mine on my Mac. I have GarageBand. I downloaded a really cool app called Audacity that I think would work very well. I'm sure you can get that on Windows too. And that one's actually really great for background noise. It's, you can select a section and take that section and apply that noise, removing that noise through your entire track, which is kind of cool. Okay, so as far as my list goes, I have kind of a cool thing. God sent me a helper. You're like an angel with no wings. So like a person. Somebody contacted me through email and said, hey, I watched your vlog and I feel like God wants me to help you. That's pretty awesome. I'm really, really excited about that. Thank you, Jesus, because, you know, I would have nobody. But between me and her and God, three strand cord, okay? We're gonna be fine. This thing's gonna be great. I'm not worried about it at all. Maybe like a little bit, just the tiniest. So as far as my list goes, I looked up all the tax laws and set those up on my website. If you're already blogging and you already sell things online, you may already know all about that. That's something that you should look into. Depending on where you live, the tax laws are different. Right now I'm in Canada, but I'm an American citizen. This is America, right? Is it? Anything over, I think, $500 in the States, you basically have to claim as income. In Canada, I believe it's 20 or 30,000 before you have to claim it as an income. Why, America? Why? Capitalism, God's way of determining who is smart and who is poor. Do you know that America also makes you pay your taxes to America no matter where you live? Yeah, they do. They like want theirs. So because I'm living in Canada, I have to pay the federal tax, but I haven't made nexus Hopefully. My husband may have screwed that up, in which case he's going to be in big trouble, but I'm pretty sure 
I haven't established nexus in any states, which means that I don't need to pay the state tax. Please. I tried to figure out the shipping, but it's way too hard to figure out for me without the actual physical book. I need to go to the post office and ask them how much it is because it's very, very expensive to ship things in Canada. If when I become wealthy, the first thing that I am doing is setting up a new shipping service. If everybody else can do it that cheap, there's got to be a better way. It's probably our gas prices. Why is our gas so expensive when it's supposed to come from Canada? How come our gas prices are so much more than the states? Can somebody please help me, please? I'm pretty sure Americans use Canadian gas. Do you not? If everything in the states can be that cheap, and in most places we can literally just walk across the border, like have one foot in one country and one foot in another one, there's no way it needs to be that expensive here for gas and postage. That's not my nice voice. I'm going to read my book with. I didn't fix all my emails, but I did change the email that you get when you buy something. So that felt good. I did get a second vlog up, which is awesome. I'm going week for week now. How in the world am I doing that? Because I'm not doing anything else. That's how I'm doing that. But the only other thing to really report is that I lost my glasses. Well, this is a nice conversation. Now I am both physically and metaphorically blind as I move forward on my publishing journey. Oh. There was more news actually. I forgot because it was just today and I wrote notes so that I wouldn't forget what happened all week. I successfully almost delayed my book until next year. <laughs> yeah. As I was doing the audiobook and I was reading it out loud, I realized how many errors there were. Some of them were just flow, some of them were actually spelling errors, and some of it was things that like maybe I just like don't really want in there. They're not huge things, but there was enough that I felt like, oh wow, I need to go through this entire book before I send it off to be printed. Meanwhile, my publisher has been waiting for me to send back the approval for the cover so that we could just like go to press today. I told them what I was doing and everybody was scrambling around and I feel like I caused drama. I feel really bad about it actually. Hopefully we're still on for tomorrow. It was just a pause. Please, Jesus. It'll be all right. If God wants this book published, then it's gonna happen, you know? I kept trying to quit and he kept making me do it, so clearly he wants it published. And they don't have the paper that I wanted for the cover. It's all sold out. That's great, because I agonized over that decision for weeks. Apparently the new one is super super similar and it's a higher quality paper. I'm gonna just trust that it's the right one and I'm gonna just let it go. Let it go, let it go, can't hold you back anymore. Is that the words? Hi! Ah. No, I'm not doing that. So I'll keep you posted on what's going on there but hopefully everything is okay and I didn't just delay the thing until next year. I'm gonna go and pray. So I'll see you next week on the next vlog, as long as I get this one out in time, but it looks like it will, because I'm doing good on these. I haven't touched anything in like two years. Super proud that I even got in front of a camera at all. I actually have my cramp. <laughs> I have cramps. I'm gonna go lay on the couch now, or take care of my sick kids who are home from school, because the party never stops. Bye.